talk to me about what made you decide to put together this book because it's it, you know it's become pretty common you'll see a lot of star athletes write memoirs a lot of celebrities do the same thing what are the the biggest messages and advice you are hoping a reader takes away from the book for me it's all about giving back and and, and there's so many different ways to get back but i feel like my story is so compelling that when people read this book they'll see beyond the football player beyond the 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 helmet and they can understand like that being a human being is normal like you do normal things you cry you laugh you smile you um you you take chances on uh being in, in your career path right and you understand that along the way even though you set goals that can change in any given moment I want them to see that. Those are the things that I take them through along my journey up until now. And it, it, it couldn't have been a better time to write a book than today, mm. right now in this present time. And like, and you know, we want people to buy this book. Uh, it's gonna be available all over the place uh, and not giving away too much. And you've done a ton mm -hmm. of interviews. You, your, your career and life has been chronicled throughout you know, your NFL career, but what are maybe one or two things uh, in the book that maybe people don't realize about you that they'll find out the book? I don't, th I don't think people realize that I am, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't think they realize how, how creative I am. Hmm, okay. You know, the creativity runs through my blood. My granddad was an artist and as you well, as you're well aware that being an artist doesn't stop at one genre. Like you, yep. an artist is a musician, a, a uh, a painter, an actor, um, uh, a, a nail tech, a, 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 de a, a prosthodontist. <laughs> like it's no. all, it's, it, everything's, everything's art is everything, you know? Uh, it's all in creativity, how creative you can be. But I, I want them to see that. I want them to know that it's okay to be that way. Because when I was in high school, a lot of kids were, including myself, we were afraid to pursue the arts because hmm. it wasn't, you wasn't a part of the cool kid club. You were walking mm. around school with an easel in your hand or a paintbrush, nah. right? You had to be doing something different like basketball, football, or cheerleader. It, it it just wasn't cool. But so, but when they read my book, they can get out of that mindset. And, and the younger generation that's behind me, they can, they can learn something. They can learn that it's okay. Mm. It's okay to, to vibrate high right now yeah. because when you get older and if you think about it like those who who were who, who wanted to be who would a part of the drama class back when they were in grade school or junior high school it wasn't considered cool but now that they're on the big screen they're working with paramount and amazon and things of that nature everyone wants to be them everyone wants to watch yeah. them yeah but they were laughing at them before yep so why not why not why not do what you think is cool now right? when you were when you're younger yeah so we can we can uh, we can erase that we, we can erase that we can create more opportunities for people just by them getting away from that fear that they have inside their heart mm -hmm.